hi you are welcome back to the channel if you are new here you are welcome and if you are a returning subscriber you are welcome thank you all for all my subscribers may god bless you all today we are coming to learn how to sew this trendy booboo kaftan so if that's what you want to learn then let's get right into the video the fabric we are working with is only two yards you have your two yards ankara so i folded it into two so i folded it into four so the measurement i'm working with is 18 and a half but the length is 36 the length of the two years so you fold it the other way around not the longer uh, length you fold it in the width side if i'm making sense so the neckline you use four inches the width and the depth is one inch or one and a half inches then you connect it the front is a v-neck so you cut the back face because it's folded into two and we won't join the shoulder the shoulder there won't be a joint at the shoulder so i've cut the back so we are now coming to cut the front so the neck depth is nine inches the v is nine inches So that's what i'm marking so you mark it depends on your size the measurements i'm working with and the size of my client is uh, size 15, uh, 16 so i'm measuring nine so that's nine i've connected the line so i'll cut that one so you raise it up you pull the back in like you remove the back from the front so that you you'll be able to cut your vein so that you won't cut both the front and the back vein no we are cutting the vein only in the front so that's what i'm cutting now so after that we'll cut our facing i want to add a pocket so i'll measure from the shoulder to the where the pockets will start 17 or 18 inches then i will notch that place then i want to add uh, some of the plain fabric for a turn up at the bottom part so i'll cut that one too so where the pocket will start so either 17 or 18 so that's what i'm marking there it's a free booboo kaftan but when you are small you can reduce the measurements we are working with because it depends on the size So now I'm coming to cut the turn up at the bottom part. Yeah. The plain fabric I'm working with is, is a half yard. Half a yard. Yeah. So I want to measure the width and see before I cut the turn up. So that I won't waste my fabric because the fabric is small. I want it wide so i i don't think i measured it but i think it will be five or six inches in in wideness or the length yeah so after that then we cut our front facing we'll cut both the front facing and the back facing together join together but my material is not enough so we we'll join the front and the back then we get the full facing so it will come from the back to the front before we add that square part at the bottom below the neckline so we have the turn up we are now coming to cut the facing for the neck yeah so that's the turn up So you put it at the wrong side then you flip it over to the right side then you fold half an inch inward then you iron it nicely then you top stitch it on the top at the right side i hope i'm making sense so i'm i folded my fabric into two i'm tracing the neckline before i cut so that's what i'm doing there i'm tracing it with the chalk 
so that I'll get exactly the neckline. So I have it now. So I finish connecting the lines. Now I have the neckline, so we'll cut and cut the bottom part of the facing on the neck. So that's the neck, the V. So this is it. So you can measure about two inches or two or two and a half inches, like the length of the facing the size that you want it depends if you want it bigger you can add more but i think mine is two and a half inches so now we are coming to make the front one to cut the front that square one in the front so you have to put the facing on it so that you see where exactly the the bottom part the the facing will come start from yeah i'm sorry so that is it we are now coming to cut it So this is the fabric for the front one so you put it you notch the middle so that you see exactly so that you get the measurement right so that some parts will not be crooked or shift or some parts will not be bigger than the other side so you notch the middle part that's what i did right there so now i'll open it then i'll take the measurement that i will use to make the shape in the front or the facing in the front so I measured four and a half inches, four and a half or five inches. That one, I did show it on the camera. Then I'll come down. Then I'll mark. That one is 15 inches. So from the top to the down is 15 inches. Because we'll fold some inside before we sew. So that's what I'm I'm using my ruler to connect the lines that I did. So the length is 15 inches and the, the width you can make it 10 or 12 inches. It depends on the wideness that you want. Please watch till the end so that you see how it came out. So now we are cutting here 9 inches. We go in nine inches like so then we go up we connect that line that one too is nine nine or ten inches that v there so you connect it like so then you got everything right you get everything correct so now we have our measurement of the facing So this is it we'll now take it to the machine fold all the facings in half an inch then we sew the facing we put it on the right uh, wrong side sorry this is the pocket that will attach the boo boo you you take the facing you put it on the wrong side then you flip you sew it and flip it over to the right side then you pin everything down then you top stitch it that's what i've done there so i'll now flip it over to the right side then i'll top stitch it then add the bottom part facing then we top stitch that one too then the size will sew one inch sewing allowance one inch at the side each side before you do that you make sure you do it the uh, turn up from the bottom you put it on the wrong side then you sew it and bring it to the right side then you iron it and top stitch it on the right side or at the right side so that's the facing the bigger one so i'm pinning everything down everything that you may make sure you pin it 
so i'm pinning everything down before i top stitch it or sew it so after that i'll take it to the machine sew it then i will sew the side one inch seam allowance but the ham hole you measure from your shoulder i did mine nine inches so you can make your eight or seven inches if you don't want the hampy to be too wide i made my eight inches that means uh, nine inches that means 18 inches so that's it i finished pinning it so i'll take it to the machine run a stitch on it i've done the okay after this then i'll do the turn up so i've not done the turn up on the bottom part so i've done everything now we are coming to so the one in similar so that's the turn up there So I'm pinning everything down. That's the one inch. I'm pinning it down before I sew. So the ham who I left nine inches or I leave nine inches. So that means 18 inches. If you don't want it to be wide, you can leave seven, eight by I prefer nine inches. So that's what I did. So that's the pocket. I added the side pocket. So I'm pinning everything down before i sew i like painting so that when i'm sewing everything will go smooth so if you are a beginner please learn how to pin painting is the key so that when you are sewing the things everything will be neat and nicely no crooked lines because you have your pins in it and make sure some of the things that you can't do is straight line this is the ham hole eight and uh, nine inches some of the things that you can't do straight stitches you rule a line to guide you so that you get your straight stitches so i finished we are now coming to sew the ham hole you fold small inside that's the one inch you fold like quarter an inch then you fold again half an inch inward then you pin it all over to the ham pit then you sew I use the white thread I use for the facing to sew the inside seam, but the sleeve, the stitches will show. So I used a matching thread. I use the teal green color. You can pick one of your color in the fabric. Then you use that thread to sew the uh, ham hole. So I'm pinning everything down before I sew. So you fold some and then you fold again. So I'll take it to the machine, sew it and bring it to show us so that we see the finish. So this is how it will look. So you start from the bottom part, then you go, then you come. This is how you sew it. So I finished sewing. So our book or kaftan is ready. So this is the ham hole. This is how I sew it. You can see the thread. I use the green thread inside, the tail green thread so all the time please use a matching thread when you are sewing so that your work will be neat so this is it this is the finished look thank you for watching and if this video was helpful please give it a thumbs up see you in the next one bye bye bye